wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. What is it? We're a problem, Master Witcher. Mate of ours got injured, and we can't seem to find him. Poor lad could bleed to death. You tracked many a monster. Would you sniff our friend out as well? We're willing to pay. Why not? Short delay won't hurt. Lead the way, Master Witcher. Quick as you can, though. Poor lad needs help. Need some kind of lead first. Any clues? Uh, yeah, yeah, he ran. Toward a port. Came out of the sewers. Sewers? Should be an easy scent to follow. sick child. Even more misery besides. Hey, you. See you. Mister, why are you asking? So Elvin much? blood, eh? Gotcha, Horsen. That was five stone with the purest fist tech you put to the torch. Do you know what it was worth? All right, Witchman. Take your coin, bugger off. Leave him alone. Wonder of wonders. A witcher defending a mage hunter. Next, we'll have my stick it up for cats. I'm not joking. Ain't ya? Fine, we'll talk serious then. Right. Help from the likes of you. Shouldn't be so quick to judge, maybe. A lesson your colleagues could use, too. Listen, I've lost much blood. I need a medic to patch me up. Quickly! W will you help? Huh. You hunters sure are polite when you need something. Fine. Do you a favor, against my better judgment. Give me your hand. Greetings, Master. Oh. 
They say another corpse is turned up, no eyes in its head, no heart in its brain. Oh, there he is. Girls can't seem to look away. Yeah, right. Arms, arms for bread, please, poor folk. Nay, not like that. See what I do? Well, well. Why you give your food that Ooh. Let's go kill some monsters.
It's you. I'll never forget you. I must thank you once more. Be glad to glance at what you're selling. Vafail. Greetings. Be glad. You know me? Where from? We met long ago in Brocolon. Possible. I can't say I remember. No surprise. You were badly wounded then. If not for the Dryad's care, it's unlikely you would have survived. Long time ago. So long it feels like it happened in another life. Maybe that's not so far from the truth. You play Gwent? Do you really have no one else to play with? Always nice to play someone new. Fine. Beggars can't be choosers, after all. I'll play you, and even stake one of my unique cards. Pull out your cards.
Damn it all, I'd so hoped for victory. Alas, so be it. You've won the card fair and square. Go, go. Hey! Take it easy. Bruising. White one. <coughs> no loitering round here. Ah, smoke. Lolly gas. not cause any trouble with you. Ooh. Locked. But looks like Zed's inside and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Oh, gonna be sick. Ah! Eternal fire, keep me safe. Let us live. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the ism grim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. Ledger Never might be one head in the corner around cat, where there's a hidden compartment under there. Hey, we 
were looking for something. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, Everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Four's made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? Got one concept for you. The Big Four. Siggy Reuven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Whore Son Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! They say hells are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing. We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty. So you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. 
Meet me outside this townhouse, gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Next time I mention cart trading, be sure and bop me in the head with a wagon accident. Something stinks. Decomposing flesh. Human flesh. Sword wound. Shallow but severed his artery. What are you holding? A key. Interesting. Kept running till he bled to death. Hey, mate, someone invite you here? No. Followed a trail of human blood. Oh, so you found our pal Derek? Well, well, must have a good eye. After our little, well, falling out, I spent half a day looking for him. And all I got out of it was a stroll and some dog shit on my shoes. Soiled me fine as poolings. Snake skin. Take a gander. What are you gabbing for? Cleaver said it clear. Anyone finds our den, shove him between the ribs and drop him in the gutter. Think, Grun. Just once use your fucking melon. If the witch has found the body, he's found the key too. Can't open the drop box without the key. We don't open the drop box. Cleaver don't get what he ordered. Cleaver don't get what he ordered. He gets angry. You want that? <laughs> Didn't think so. So, eh, uh, talk here, mate. You got two options. First, give us the key. I pay you for your trouble and everyone goes their own way smiling. Second, make a fuss. And we do what Grun wants. Chip between your ribs. Two things only the greatest fools do. Throw stones at hornets' nests and threaten a witcher. Bad idea.
ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Uh, Oh, you've got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play!
Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate. And sit still or you'll hurt yourself. But, but he won! So, now we'll play something else. Thanks. Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course, here. Welcome. What? So long. Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! 
Now we've just Caesar bills in to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. It certainly keeps the camp there. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Shivy! She's our Belzen. Remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar? The Pike's king of the Pontar. Uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the Ponta? You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what for sandals are eager vitals if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's cause you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavor shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out! Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Like shit. All right. Grab your rods. We're off to the Ponta. Can't let this drivel stand. Not in your own home. Well then, did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? I'm not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Care Morehead? Bombs. How's that? <laughs> Bells and heard many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Get out! Go fetch us another bottle. Right. Can see the bottom of this one. So, where are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. You forget what happened last time. What about last time? Shouldn't he have yanked so hard, he wouldn't have fallen in. Nice razors you got there. open.
dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Vatier de Rideau's dagger. A set of Aranahid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. Portrait of Emperor Amir, tempera on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Joachim de Vet skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Here's Fringilla. The statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Shame I can't ask Triss about it. Sultan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. The cleaver will pay extra for killing the witcher. Well, up to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? <laughs> I can use a fight. Explain this to Cleaver. I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by. Splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit! Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ah, if you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Triss is no longer around. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shitload of coin for them. Let's go.
The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Not much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. <laughs> you know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. Get out of there. What a smash where you Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards get away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse and I'll tend to the others. What? Can't understand a word. Is that a threat? For them close? Who? No! Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop.
there. Come here. Oh, help me! This damn lid won't budge! God. Whoever put it on the sarcophagus was clearly thinking about grave robbers. Uh, you've no idea who I am, have you? None. Professor Vermont John, Oxenfurt University, Faculty of Applied Archaeology. As a certain ancient map would have it, there's a priceless elven tome in this sarcophagus, the Darar Manuscript. It could shed entirely new light on the NL and Shay conflict. So, will you help? All right, let's open it. Blood are glowing. Vampire. Probably regenerates here. Just five more minutes. Is it 1358 yet? No. Then fuck off. Uh, I'm ever running into things like that. Well, come on. Open it again. Why? See an elven manuscript there? Because I sure as hell didn't. I hadn't the chance to look. Perhaps he enjoys bedtime reading and keeps it under his pillow. Fine. I'll open it again. What the... Again? Do you fucking plan to come knocking once an hour now? Enough! Shame he didn't leave me to talk to him. He might have known something about the manuscript. Didn't seem all that willing to chat. You may be right. Oh well, thanks. Farewell. Leave me, uh, swiving drowners. <laughs> you could use a witcher. Ha ha, highly amusing. If, if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Yeah, you can go, if you're able. Ha, huh. what are my chances? With these wounds? Not high. So long.
So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone with you. You know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Think he's likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kind of curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent. I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. Zoltan. Geralt. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. Hello there. Pawning or buying? Show me what you have in stock. Well, stray in, and before you know it, the neighborhood's full of
Greetings to the honourable gentlemen. Razors, scissors, knives, ground to sharpness mere moments ago. Need a trim. Think you can manage? So long. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here. And your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? Intertip to resting. I suppose there is no ah! way for the accused sorceress. Damn it, I don't know. Welcome back. So, interested in some of Eremas's mementos after all? They're still for sale. Show me what you have.
Farewell. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrive. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Geralt, you've known him longer. Say something. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Mm. Both our lives have revolved around the stage, and Cabaret's a form of theatre, in a way. Fine, let's do the theatre decor. I certainly hope it'll be to his liking. A wonderful choice it is. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, 
He said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Something unusual. Witcher, I'll give you a discount for heroic deeds, but madam, well, you know. ruckus about Polly and her half-brained fiance they're fighting she's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography and that lummox won't let her work for me oh, oh, hold on what are you doing here we were gonna meet at the rosemary we were but you didn't show Priscilla started to worry so I came to see how you were doing Priscilla started worrying about me that's so nice! Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've gotta help Polly! Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary in Time. They worked on the dance numbers I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter, and start looking. Fine, let's find the key. Damn it. Now where would she be? Oh, I'm not good. Not good. Not here. Not here. Ah, the key. Find anything? Damn it. Now where would she be? Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my house! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut off, or I'll split your skull! My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. Talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. 
She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of yous. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose. In that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlegs. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Got a minute? For you, my friend, always. Gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley. Poor son senior himself. You're right, I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist, but deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the Rosemary went to me, and I planned to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. How do you and Priscilla meet? Huh. It was at the court of Duke Hereward, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in the final. Who won? Well, I don't remember. I bet. Probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. And did you? <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. Got a portrait of Hierarch Hemelfort I'm willing to part with. Want it? Yes, those halfling painters. This one of theirs? Uh, mm. Wonderful. I put this up at the Rosemary in time. It'll make those temple guard inspections so much easier. Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? One you promised to show your butterfly collection to. Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. Butterfly collection? 
You of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average run-of-the-mill girl. Would give her a smile, notice her shoes, let her chat about them a bit, and she'd turn into a wellspring of passion. See you, Dandelion. <laughs> 